a big part of what we're talking about with vascular health is that it's an oxidation problem damaging the blood vessel. So that's why a lot of the heart supplements contain different kinds of antioxidant compounds. Quercetin has good antioxidant effect. Is that its strongest effect? It's strong for quercetin, but compared to other antioxidants like glutathione or alpha lipoic acid, it's probably not as strong as an antioxidant. So there's so many. So that's not my first go-to as far as antioxidant, but it does other things like stabilize mass cells, have uh, some anti-inflammatory effects. So quercetin does a lot of different things. The question is, what's the size of the effect? How much does it do those things? Right? It's one thing to say, this is anti-inflammatory. You don't want to have zero inflammation because you need inflammation to do something. Inflammation is a healing response. Inflammation is how you kill infection. So you don't want to squash it to zero. This is why you don't take drugs that are immune suppressants because you're concerned about, oh, this drug is going to suppress my immune system so much that I can't fight a common infection. 